They have never won an Olympic medal in any sport, but a golden opportunity is presenting itself to Fiji. The South Sea nation has become synonymous with rugby sevens, and in Rio, this sport will be played in the Olympics for the first time. They can handle the pressure of being the best team in the world. We got a bit of a phrase called Senga Mataku, and it means no tomorrow. And uh, the boys play like there's no tomorrow. They really don't think about the risks involved on throwing the ball um, you know, behind their back. And it's a bit like island life. It's blue skies, blue seas, and suddenly, bang, we get hit by a cyclone and everything gets turned upside down. Just imagine how the people of Fiji are going to be feeling going into that first day of Sevens action in Rio. Their boys, their national obsession, and the chance to win their first ever Olympic medal. Fijians live and breathe Sevens. Their handling skills are like a trademark. It's uh, a gift uh, from above, from uh, God. And I think that we played from a very young age, and you grew up in a Fijian family, and it's a national sport of a country. Deep down inside, I know that we can go and perform and win the gold medal in Rio. Fiji's rivals for medals in Brazil will include the strong Southern Hemisphere trio of South Africa, Australia and New Zealand's All Blacks. But the USA are also strong in sevens, and technically the Americans are defending a gold medal. They were champions when rugby was last played in the Olympics in Paris 1924, with a 15 a side tournament. This team could make quite an impact in Rio. Don't be fooled by the football. It's the Kenyan Rugby Sevens team, and they're becoming heroes in the country, having won a big tournament in Singapore in April. They are a seriously good team with a ball in their hands. Such has been Kenya's progress into the world's top ten. They don't just hope for a medal in Rio, they expect it. We are going in the middle, that's for sure. Uh, I think the team uh, has, has made me confident enough. And for us, we picked at the right time. And we basically have a good part of the team that will be participating in Rio. Gold? Gold is very likely. <laughs> the men's competition will be as short and sharp as the game itself, all decided in two days after a three-day women's sevens. Whoever wins medals, the Olympics will now be the pinnacle of the increasingly popular sevens game. Lee Wellings, Al Jazeera, London.